out of the 300 plus million American citizens we have on this planet, is Donald Trump really the best option we have as president again? Apparently enough people think so. And it's sad how many people think Trump, Donald Trump is our best option given just how bad the Democrat Party is failing. And not only just how bad the Democrat Party is failing, but how we have been led to believe that it really is a binary choice between Democrats and Republicans. Really, more people need to understand how rank choice voting works. We need to give ourselves way more options than just these two between Democrats and Republicans, let alone between liberals and conservatives and especially between the extreme left and the extreme right, if we ever want to see our problems get solved. And, and that's the thing that bothers me the most about Donald Trump and, and many Trump loyalists, many of whom are people who really see no wrong in, in Trump. They, they see no wrong in how this man shamelessly sucks up all the media attention for him being the very victim that so many people who are against victimhood, especially when it came to Black Lives Matter and Antifa and the hundreds of riots throughout 2020 over the demonstrable false narrative of George Floyd's death. How many of those same people are buying into the victimhood narrative of Donald Trump? And how he's, he's being unjustly uh, persecuted uh, by the DOJ. And everybody's a lawyer now. Like everybody who is following the whole thing with the indictment and the classified documents. they all It's like what happened with O.J. Simpson back in the 90s. How many people became lawyers overnight all of a sudden? Um, and in defense of, of O.J. Simpson, I wish, I wish I still had the details of how many people at the water coolers at my job at the time were defending O.J. Simpson over this. And um, when in actuality, the guy was guilty of double homicide. And I think it's the same thing with Donald Trump. And, and yet people are making the excuse, well, Biden also had classified documents in his garage next to his Corvette. And well, two wrongs don't make a right. Has it occurred to anybody that, yeah, we probably shouldn't have someone like Joe Biden as our president either. And it's more than likely because of the faulty mechanisms that we have with our democracy. It's such a shame that uh, what is the truth that people like Donald Trump love to claim to be a standing for is so elusive to so many of his supporters as well as his haters as, 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 at the same time. So many people who hate Donald Trump and are being absolutely misled by the false narratives against him that he's a racist when, you know what, I don't know. It, it's up for grabs whether Donald Trump is a racist. I don't think of him as a white supremacist, though. I, I really don't think he's that. Uh, but what Donald Trump really is guilty of, in my opinion, why he should be in prison is over January 6th and how he deliberately misled thousands of people to gather at the Capitol in order to challenge the election results that he had zero evidence of election fraud as to why he lost the 2020 election. And again, coming from someone who voted for him, I voted for the guy. Yeah, how he's not in prison for that. And for basically verbally strong arming his vice president, Mike Pence, at the time to overturn the, the election results. And I think I know why. It's because there's more than enough po people who are in power who think hey, he might make it again. He might actually become president again, and I want to be on his good side. How many career politicians? How many people in the media, not to mention how many social media personalities? I thought like there was many people in social media who were trying to buck the trend of mainstream media and like, oh, we're going to tell the real truth, you know, about how things actually work that the mainstream media doesn't tell you. And yet those people are all on board with Donald Trump, all on board with Tucker Carlson ever since he got fired uh, from Fox. Hey, they're, they're all too giddy about the fact that Tucker Carlson got about 100 million views now that he's supposedly on Twitter. Or he's got some weird deal with Twitter. I don't know what the hell he's doing with Twitter, but apparently he's made about $2 million from the 100 million views he got by basically 
legitimizing a murderous tyrant like Vladimir Putin while demonizing someone like uh, Volodymyr uh, Zelensky from Ukraine. It's amazing to me. It's as if people claim to want to know what is the truth, but really when the truth is there, uh, staring at them straight in the face, hidden in plain sight, they just deny it. And the truth is, Donald Trump is not our best choice for president. Again, the man ends up distracting us from the real problems that affect our lives. The ever-increasing cost of living. The uh, clearly the runaway costs of health care. Our appalling uh, health, um, education system. And, and, and just, it's amazing. And he loves, Donald Trump loves every minute that the, the media gives to him regarding this whole thing with the classified documents, which he knows he's going to, he's going to bypass. This is free advertising for him, basically. He loves this. He doesn't care to talk to people about the real solutions to the real problems that millions, hundreds of a million, hundreds of millions of Americans face. Same thing with Tucker Carlson. There is a value to Tucker Carlson. I really appreciated when Tucker Carlson called out the demonstrable falsehoods of Black Lives Matter and Antifa and the Democrat Party that he was useful for. But when he is actually legitimizing a murderous tyrant like Vladimir Putin, who is sending who is sending hundreds of thousands of his own people to their deaths for a war in Ukraine just to basically usurp that nation again because of using it as a, basically a, he does not want to have to pay Ukraine, the Ukrainian government. The, the tolls that they basically, the billions of dollars that Russia has to pay Ukraine in order to get um, their gas, their natural gas to Europe uh, for energy. And I'm no expert on this, but it's clearly not about the denazification of, of Ukraine. It's clearly not about the brotherhood of Ukraine. And the fact that someone like Tucker Carlson, who is not, eating, and not an idiot and can't actually point that out, it goes to show these people don't care about the truth. They care about the views. They care about the, the, the mainstream media attention. They care about the advertising dollars. That's all they care about. These people, people like Donald Trump and Tucker Carlson are megalomaniacal narcissists and malignant ones at that and they do not care about delivering the truth to any of their viewers. What they do care about is delivering plenty of money to their pockets. Anyway, I, I wish more people could see this. I don't think a simple YouTube video like this, especially one where I'm just drawing the word truth, is going to convince many people. But um, Donald Trump, Tucker Carlson, they are not the heroes that uh, they're being made out to be. And I, I just wish millions of more Americans could see that. And, and by the way, you, that doesn't mean that you're a liberal. It doesn't mean you're a Democrat. It doesn't mean you're a Biden lover either. And if we had ranked choice voting, we wouldn't have to pick and choose between Biden or Trump. With ranked choice voting, you'd be able to rank your choices of who you want as a leader, which we unfortunately need. But they should be leaders that we elect to represent us, not to dictate and lord over us. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Chink out, check, chink out the links. Down below. <laughs> Why not chink them out? Chink out the links down below. And thanks for watching.